Question for you guys. The Browns don't have a first-round pick tonight. How much and where would you put on a scale of 1 to 10 is your interest in what happens in the first round of the draft tonight? Well, I, I'll tell you, and it's, it's so funny because it's, it's the day of the draft in Cleveland, and an hour, 15 minutes into the show, we're just like, oh, yeah, the draft. The draft. Like, yeah, usually, oh. for how many years was the draft the Christmas Super Bowl. here? That was Super it. Bowl, Christmas, whatever you want to call it. And now it's like irrelevant because, and, and even if the Browns had a first round pick, we'd be talking about it more, obviously. But, you know, they're, they're not looking for a quarterback right now, so it's a different thing. However, you know, I'm interested because I just like the draft. Mm -hmm. I hate the lead up to the draft and the mock drafts. Yeah. I find that stuff now so tiring and boring. But I, I like I, I kind of feel a, yeah, I'm just like, a little bit too. Right, right. I'm so done with all these because everybody's a genius now with their mock draft. But I like the actual draft, and I like, I'm like. i interested to see where players go. Selfishly for me, I'm interested to see what the Bengals do with their late first-round pick. Could they take Jamar Gibbs, a running back? Uh, could they go with a tight end? So I'm curious to them, and I am interested to see what the Steelers do and what the Ravens do. The Steelers end up getting Joey Porter Jr., which would be quite yeah. fascinating if that happens. So I'm into it, but, I mean, from a Browns perspective, it, I, I mean, we're all going to be stunned beyond belief if they end up trading back no. into the first round. 0.0%. Zero .0 yeah, yeah, yeah. So, That's from happening. a Browns perspective, obviously there's no interest, but I have interest in the draft tonight. Do you? Yeah, I'm going to watch. Um, yeah. I, it'll be like, you know, now what I do is because the Browns have not had really draft picks like that for a while. Yeah. Because remember a couple of years ago, they didn't have a first round pick for, uh, with Odell Beckham Jr. That's right. trade. Yep. So, now you, you go back with the Deshaun Watson trade. So, what I usually do is put it on and kind of see the, the movement. I'm, I'm interested in seeing which teams really feel like they're a couple pieces away. Because right. you could tell, like, guys, and, and my dad said this the other day. He said, look, after this crop of people, like, after this crop of guys, because there might be four quarterbacks, he's like, are there any teams that will need quarterbacks after that? Think about it. Everybody seems to have found something. Like, even the, the Jets got uh, Aaron Rodgers. Yep. Um, the only guy I could think is if Russell Wilson plays horribly again. But a after these teams go out and draft Stroud or draft Bryce Young, and then you got Will Levis or Richardson, that's four more quarterbacks off the board. What other teams need quarterbacks? I, it's I think there's always going to be injuries. There's always going to be guys that don't meet expectations. There's always going to be just when you think – all the holes are plugged. Yeah. Another one springs. Another one sprouts. That's true. Somebody plays terrible. Like you're yeah. like, oh, well, he's gonna turn the corner, and then you're like, oh goodness, he's terrible. Like, yeah. I, I see that happening. Like Geno Smith. Geno Smith had a nice year. If he plays terrible, the Seattle Seahawks will have no problem. Right. Being like, mm. and Tennessee. Who's Tennessee have? Uh, Ryan Tannehill, baby, yeah. former Aggie wide receiver. And Malik and then Malik. And then Malik. Uh, Gig him. But we have no idea if he's any I don't good even know if he's decent. So there's always going to be teams that so, – and Tua could get another concussion and be done. Like, there's always teams that you think you're good and then suddenly you're not good. Right. My interest level in the NFL draft tonight is probably one and three quarters. Like, I'll have it on – I have two TVs in the office. I'll have one of them on the draft. But I'll have the other one on – I mean, the Guardians are off tonight. There's no – the Celtics-Hawks doesn't do a lot for me. No. I'm not really interested in that series, but I'll probably have that on. But the fact that there's no other compelling TV on – is the only reason I watch the draft. I, I truly, I don't really care. Yeah, it's uh, and, and, and you know it's ironic because the Browns, for so many years, that was what we were hanging our that was hat it. on. That was that all was we it. had. Yep. Yeah. Now it's like we're not even going to do nothing in day one or day two. Like because well, day two they have picks. They have, but it's like you got to wait. You got to still wait a while unless they trade. I, day two, I could see them trading up to the second round. Possibly, possibly. I think that's a possibility. We're going to talk about it tomorrow. Don't worry. What's that? We're going to talk about the Browns' plans for day two tomorrow. We think it, no way they're making it uh, into round one. By the way, Gavin Williams today in AAA, four innings pitch, no runs, five strikeouts. Electric stuff. And Jason, you you're go. right. His windup and Garrett Cole, eerily similar. So, with that being said, we're going to do a real quick round of uh, happy face, sad face, yes or no on some NFL draft prop bets. Okay. We're going to run through these real quick. we got ten of them. So, we're going to run through them. Hopefully, throw Brandon joins us at 1230. If not, we got plenty of other stuff to get to. Are you guys ready? For a round of happy face, sad face, okay, AKA Me. yes happy or no, face, would you take face. it or not, on some NFL draft prop bets? You ready? ready? Question number one: Over under four and a half quarterbacks taken in the first round tonight. Hmm? So if you think it's over, give me a happy face. If you think it's under, give me a sad face. Hendon Hooker is the fifth, who may or may not go in the first round. I'll Everyone say, says no. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's gonna be four on the dot. 
Um, Hendon Hooker, I think, is a second round pick. Um, the funny thing is somebody he was talking about. I think we had a draft guy on here. He said the problem with Hendon Hooker is he only had one good year of production at Tennessee, Virginia Tech. He wasn't the same guy. He's already 25. He just come off the ACL. So you right. might get to a point. He's 26 before. All of a sudden he's Brandon Weeks. <laughs> you 26 yeah. before you even get a look at the man. Yeah. No, nobody's taking him in the first round. All right. Next one. I don't know. I mean, I would never say never, but yeah, I, agree. I, mean, I don't know. Who knows? We're all, we're, this is all a guess. But this is all a guess. And these like, are all likely. per yeah. fan duel, by the way. Over, under, one and a half running backs taken tonight in the first round. Bijan's a, uh, a certainty. Will Jameer Gibbs be the second? Vol says yes. Jason says no. Nope. G says no. Nah, B- no. B- I, I, um, I think there's a good chance the Bengals would take Jameer Gibbs in the first round, even though they haven't taken a running back in the first round in about 20 years. When's the last running back they did? Kajana Carter? Is that the last running back they took I, I in the first I think he was round? second to last. They took somebody a couple of years after him. Uh, I can't remember who it is no. though. Whatever. All right, next one. Over under three and a half wide receivers taken in the first round tonight. Oh, they always go higher than yep. expected. Three Something yeses. Like yep. Yeah. yeah. Next one, Steve. Yep. Over under five and a half DBs, I, safeties and cornerbacks. Who the hell knows? <laughs> I, I say yes because of the importance of the position. Yeah. I think I think I think there will be four DBs, no safeties though. I don't got no safeties going in the first round, so I'm gonna go right at five. So you're under. Yeah. All right. All right. Next one, Steve. Bijan Robinson's draft position. Does he go in picks one through twelve or in thirteen or after? Under. I think he's in the mid twenties. He's not okay. gonna be no top twelve pick. Jason's paid, giving us both. I've paid no attention. I mean I don't know. I don't really know, but I <laughs> I find it hard to believe a running back's gonna go in the top ten picks. Stop going. No, picks. he's not gonna do that. Stop. Perfect. Man. Those teams are so desperate that I, I can't see them taking a running back that early. Next one. Especially yeah. when you think how many quarterbacks are gonna go. Yeah. Jackson Smith and Jigba, same draft position. Before 12 or after 12? After. after. I think he's a late first rounder. I think he's a first rounder, but I think he's mid to late. 19 to 23 range. Okay, next up. I think we've got two more. Nolan Smith, the defensive end from Georgia, who ran a 4-3 at the combine. By the way, before you said the defensive end from Georgia, I had no clue who he was. <laughs> right. Not a clue. He ran a 4-3 at the combine, two-time national champion. I can't draft a defensive lineman with glasses. No offense, G. <laughs> what a shot. What a shot. That was a good one. I used to have a comeback. I don't have one. I love G speechless yeah, for the first like, time damn, ever. They, they snuck that one in good. Um, no. He, he, he's going to be about 13, 14. I don't, there's too many quarterbacks going in the first. He kind of looks picks. nerdy, too. I can't. He looks a little nerdy. And he does not have that <laughs> level of production. Um, he don't have it ain't like he's one of them dudes that look really great, but can get locked up because they don't have no moves. Mm. So uh, by the way, I'm answering this and I think Jason kind of is also without being as obvious as me, like the people who picked the NCAA tournament based on uniforms. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's basically I'm picking it yeah. based on uh, defensive linemen and quarterbacks seem to go the most. Yeah, that's so, true. Yeah. All right. Give me a yes. Uh, I I've done you. I've done zero prep on the NFL no, draft. No, no. And with that, we're gonna be sending out tech shorts and updating you on every pick the Browns oh, make all my throughout analysis. the weekend. Coming As you up. can tell, Bull, Jason G, they are up to date oh, on yeah. everything you need to know about the NFL draft. Right. If you think they don't know first round prospects, wait to hear them give their takes on the fifth and sixth <laughs> round guys. Well, G the might Browns know. take. I, uh, it is going to be electric. Play. Make sure you are part of the Ultimate Cleveland Sports Show. Members or not, this content is all free for you on our YouTube page, on our YouTube channel. On the Haymarket text chain, you're going to get it all. Make sure you tune in through us throughout the weekend. We got three more real quick. Boy, I know you know this guy because you mentioned him. Joey Porter Jr., top yeah. 20 pick or not? Where are the Steelers picking? That's what I was going to say. Where are the Steelers uh, It's a great question. I think 19 or 18. They didn't make the playoffs, so they have to be. Yeah, yeah. Give so me a yes. I'm saying yes because I think the Steelers are drafting. That would be cool if they do. I think he's the third corner on the big board. Um, I think he goes a little later than that. 26, 27. Okay. Two more. Will Tyree Wilson be the first defensive player taken? He is the prohibited favorite as of this morning. That's stupid. Hey, where's Jalen Carter projected to go now? That's dumb. I don't know. Top 10. He said the Eagles have assured him he will not fall past 10. So there's no chance they've assured him that. This, this dude. He didn't do any interviews outside the top 10. Tyree Wilson is, is cool, but. 
He's not. He's not. Oh boy. He's so not you know him. what's crazy about you know what's crazy about Tyree Wilson? He was at A and M for two years when I was there. He couldn't get off the third string at A and M on the defensive line. Wow. And he goes to Texas Tech, blows up, and now he's a projected top five. I, top I didn't know pick. they played any defense in the Big Ten. No. Club. Oh I'm wait, little... great trivia question. Yeah. Earl did not know this earlier. Last Big Ten or Big Twelve? Excuse me, Big Twelve defensive player to be drafted in the top ten. Who is it? And I wouldn't ask if it didn't have some sort of tie to Cleveland on this show. Brian Bosworth. Miles Garrett. No, AM was the SEC at that point. Oh. Um, hold on. Brian Bosworth. It's a great guess, Jason. <laughs> Thank you. You said, you said it, the last Big 12? Big 12 defensive player to go Danny top 10. Danny Shelton. No, I wasn't top 10. To go no, top, no. 10. Ooh, top 10. Top 10. I just um, hit myself it's not, right. It's not that, by the that way, far back. I just hit myself right in the nuts <laughs> with, with this thing. Justin Gilbert. Yes, sir. There you go. Justin oh, Gilbert, the gosh. last Big 12 defensive player oh, to go in the top 10. God. Last one, Steve. Justin Gilbert? Yes. Yes. That guy was a total piece of garbage. No offense. He, we, he's, he's probably one of the best. Sorry, that Mrs. Gilbert. Trash. Bust of all time. <laughs> your your his, son was trash. They drafted his him and Johnny Manziel his, in the his same play, His play on the field was yes. trash. He might be a decent human being, or he might be a crappy human being, too. I don't know. But. They drafted him and Johnny Manziel. Can you imagine two first round picks and you took those two bums? I mean, they they they've whiffed on yeah. Johnny Manziel I mean, is a piece of trash. I, 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 I mean, but the Trent Richardson whiffs, the Brandon. And then Reed they traded whiffs. him for a first round pick, and then they whiffed on that. And that was the pick they used to draft Danny, Johnny, right? Danny Shelton and Danny Cam Shelton. Cam Irving in the same draft. You drafted the nose tackle in a Cam center. Irving. Jesus. Anyway, all right, last one, oh, very last one. one, a guy I'm sure Bull has never heard of, Cedric Tillman. Will he be a first round? Didn't pick? he play basketball for Texas A&M in the '80s? <laughs> this Cedric Tillman, no, maybe there's another one. I know a dude from the block. His name is B.J. Tillman. Shout out to him. Y'all don't know. I Spencer thought, Tillman. He I thought Cedric player. Tillman played for the Grizzlies. I thought I saw him grabbing a rebound the other night. By the way, Xavier Tillman. Oh, Cedric, Xavier. Cedric, Cedric Tillman. Hey, is, hey, Terrell Brandon's calling me. Hold on, you guys talk for a second. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is the high level this, stuff this, we're this, doing this, here, folks. <laughs> We've devolved. Hey, I gotta take this call. Brandon's dog. calling me. Hey, I hit your back. Is, is, is Mikey going to admit that he, right? yeah. Is Mikey going to admit to him that he was calling him Brandon Terrell all morning? <laughs> what I, do you think, Bush G? <laughs> Bush G. <laughs> I was confused. I said, is That's he an his actor? rap name, Bush G. <laughs> I thought he was like somebody off a Netflix special. I'm like, <laughs> Brandon Terrell. That like, that's crazy. Like, hey, yeah, he's oh, like, yeah, geez. he's. Well, well, anyway, yeah. I, I am, despite the fact that I've been making fun of it and don't, uh, you know, these guys, I don't know most of these guys, I am actually looking forward to it. So, uh, I, Jason said you're not. I'm not. I'll we'll have, have it on, on like, whatever. I got to do, do four hours of radio tomorrow, so I got to watch it. I, who are you filling in for? Lima. So, me and Ken tomorrow morning. Lima still uh, in the building? He's in New York. He's going to New York with, uh, with the wife to celebrate the honeymoon. First year. Oh, really? Is it first year? Yeah. It's I got a call line. Right, this is like some odd things going on. Yeah, right? I gotta, I gotta reach out. Me and Jason are on the uh, schedule a lot. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Shout, uh, but I did hear, uh, hear him at the Cleveland. Shout out to Lima. There could be some, you know, again, some veteran movement that we could see today. Mm -hmm. Could see mentioned this yesterday. DeAndre Hopkins could get traded. Yep. Buda Baker could get traded. Uh, Dalvin Cook. There's been rumors about him getting traded. Anybody on the Browns radar, uh, would you like before we were really hot and heavy about DeAndre Hopkins? There was a yeah, lot. Yeah, I, I they, think the Browns are done making trades for veterans. Yeah, they don't have you know, they're not giving up. I mean, they don't I think I again, they have two thirds, two fourths, two fifths. So and I'm not going to be here tomorrow, but but um, I'm expecting them to package some of those picks to potentially if there's a guy they like mid second round, late second round or even earlier in the third round. It, would, it might make some sense to, to target them with some extra picks. Zach Jackson noticed that they – I think they've moved around in the fourth round every year yeah. that Barry's been here. So, I do think that they're going to move around the board. They could go up. They could move a pick for next year. They could trade one of these picks for an extra three or four next year. Yeah. But I do think they'll be active. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's funny because – but even tomorrow, even though I won't be here, uh, I don't know who's on. Who's on Who's on tomorrow? With uh, Brad – I think it's you, Brad, Jason. No, uh, I'm not in. Oh, Jay. Is Brad Jay? came in this morning thinking yeah. he was on the Yeah, car. I see him. Is Brad in tomorrow with Jay and G? Brad's in tomorrow. It's, it's Jay, Brad, and G tomorrow. Okay. So, but even, like, the Browns won't have, still will not have made any picks, obviously, and it'll all be over the weekend. So, Monday show, 
uh, will be a big one. I think it's probably me, you, and Jay on Monday. Uh, but that'll be a big show because we'll be recapping all of the Browns draft picks because we wouldn't have had any time to talk about them during the week.